Example problem. What is the speed of the Earth as it goes around the sun? So here we, we first can think about our definition v average as delta x over delta t, right? That's how we defined it before, but we have a problem there. Because if we imagine that it goes from here all the way around over here in one year, well, it's back in the same position, right? So that tells us something about the average velocity. It is uh, zero over the course of a year. And, and we don't want that. We want to know how fast it's going relative to the sun. So we're actually going to look at the speed. The speed is going to be equal to the distance traveled divided by the time it takes. We can do that here. But we have to be careful. That's not the same thing as velocity. The average velocity around one trip is zero. That's important. Okay. But we can calculate the speed. So here we have the Earth moving in a mostly circular orbit, not completely mostly circular orbit. Uh, we can calculate that distance, and we know the time is one year. So let's just say, I'm going to write it as v, even though it's a speed. It's going to be the distance around the circle is 2 pi r divided by the period of orbit, which we call t for the period. We have capital T. Um, now, I do want to get, I have the orbital radius of the Earth is 1.49 times 10 to the 11th meters, which, yes, is very large. And year, we'd like to get that in seconds. I like to get this in meters per second. So let's convert years. I know that one year has 365 and a little bit more because of leap year and stuff like that, but we can leave it like this, uh, days per year. And that's going to cancel. Um, I should probably, maybe if I do it down here, let's erase this. Uh, I'm running out of room. Let's just erase this. So let's convert the time T is uh, one year times 365 days per year. And again, for a unit conversion, this is the same thing. So I can cancel that unit. Now I need to convert days to hours. So I'll say there are 24 hours in one day. And notice those cancel. And now I need to convert hours to seconds. And so I can do a double whammy here. I know that there's 60 minutes in a second and 60 hour, minutes in an hour. So that's 60 times 60 is 3,600. 3, so I can say there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. And that will give me my time. Let's go ahead and calculate that with our calculator. It's good practice here. How many seconds in a year? It's good for trivia questions. You have to look this way so I can see. Prop. Okay. So 365 times 24 times 3,600. And I get, oh, I didn't convert scientific notation. 3.15 times 10 to the 3, 6, 7. Now I can use that down here to calculate my speed. 2 times pi times this. 1.49 times 10 to the 11th meters divided by 3.15 times 10 to the 7th seconds. Now, do this calculation because a lot of people, when they enter that in their calculator, will get it wrong. I promise you that. I'm going to do it. You do it. See if you get the same thing. So it's 2. Where's my pi button? Let's see. Pi. I was right there. Um, 1.49 10 to the 11th, 3.15 10 to the 7th, and I get, is that too low? Nope, not too low. 2.97 times 10 to the 4th meters per second. Check your work.